Thousands of people will travel over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge during this long holiday, but how vulnerable is it and other bridges? After the disastrous Key Bridge collapse, the cargo ships that pass under our bridges are massive and getting bigger. And as WJZ investigator Mike Helgren reports, some say more protections are needed. The old Key Bridge was no match for the Dolly, collapsing on impact. Yet federal records indicated it was considered safe at the time. Now there's a push to retrofit older bridges with protective barriers at a cost of billions of dollars. The Dolly, weighing more than 100,000 tons, passes under the Bay Bridge last week on its way out of Baltimore. While it's gone, the disaster it left caused many questions, among them how to protect vulnerable older bridges from ever larger ships. No, it's not the bridge that's getting larger, it's not the waterway that's getting the larger, it's the vessels that are getting larger, and not just uh, width, but height uh, with containers. That includes the Bay Bridge, which like the key bridge is fracture critical. That means if one key structural element fails, the whole bridge will fall. The westbound span opened 51 years ago last week, before tragedies like Tampa's Sunshine Skyway Bridge collapse led to safer construction standards. They would either harden the piers so they could take an impact or put a fender system of substantial configuration to deflect that vessel back into the navigable channel. A federal database reveals of the more than 4,000 bridges that allow ships to go under them, only 36% have functional pier protection. Just north of Maryland, the Delaware Memorial Bridge, a critical link of Interstate 95, is being retrofitted with a protection system that could withstand an impact from a ship even heavier than the Dolly. It a ship would happen to lose control or, or lose steering or whatever and, and uh, veer towards one of our tower structures, these new dolphin uh, cells will protect our tower structures. It's what I would call our insurance policy. An insurance policy that costs $95 million, too expensive for many states despite the risk of doing nothing. Researchers at Johns Hopkins hope to open the eyes of lawmakers, launching the first comprehensive study into the vulnerability of bridges nationwide since the Key Bridge disaster. Our hypothesis is that the probability of these events occurring is higher than it's intended to be. The next key bridge is expected to have a longer uninterrupted span across the water with fewer pier supports that could be vulnerable to a ship's strike. In your corner at Fort Armistead Park, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you, Mike. Well